a path, a loop. If the node at which we start, if we create a path, it says if the node at which we start is the same as the node at which we end, then the path is called a closed path or a loop. That's what a path is. So, KVL, Kirchhoff Voltage Law, it says, the algebraic sum of the voltage around any closed path is zero. Looking at that picture here, this is a closed path. If you start from A, you travel, travel, there's no holes in it, you travel, travel, you end up back to A, that's a closed path. The point I start with, I end up finishing with it, that node. So the algebraic sum of the voltage around any closed path is zero. Let me write it down. of the voltages. So this one deals with voltages. That's why it's Kirchhoff voltage law. Voltages around any closed path is zero. Hmm. Let's take this problem here. That's a voltage source of five volts. That's seven volts. We have a resistor here, 100 ohm. Now we have no idea what the voltage here is. Let's say plus to minus here. Vx. If I define that plus to minus Vx, plus to minus, the assumption I'm making here, the reason this is plus to minus is why? Because there is a current coming down to make it plus to minus. So the assumption I'm making my current actually through this traveling in that direction, in this one. It's only one loop here. Because if it travels this way through the resistor, it's going to mark it from high to low, plus to minus. If the assumption was going this way, we'll mark it plus to minus that way. So first, do we have a closed path? Notice this is node 1 or A if you want to call it. This is node B. This is C. This, all of this is C, actually, all of it. But if you travel from here, if you start from A and you travel, there's only one way to go, and you end up with this spot, the same spot. That is a closed path. So sum of the voltages in that is zero. Now, let's look at that and see what's going on. As you travel through that, you're entering this one from which end? Look how I mark these. Minus on the bottom, plus on the top. You're entering this one from which end? Minus to plus. You're entering in this one from which end? Plus to minus. So we have to differentiate between them. It really doesn't matter which one you call minus, which one you call positive. So I'm entering this from the negative. So I'm going to call this negative 5. The voltage there. Keep going. I'm entering this from minus. as the plus, the algebraic sum. Negative 7. Keep going, plus, this I'm entering from the plus, that's plus Vx. Any more voltages here? No. That has to equal to zero. Can we figure out what Vx is? 12 volts. So 
So the voltage across this is 12 volts. If I really want to find out what the current is, that's not the question, but if I want to find out what the current, I can use Ohm's law now. I can say the voltage across the resistor, which is Vx, equals the current through the resistor I times the value of the resistor, which is what? 100. Do I know what the voltage across that resistor there? Mm -hmm. 12. I is unknown. We're looking for it. Times 100. What is I equal to? 0.12 amp. Now the book might not like 0.12 amp, they might make it 120 milliamps. Because they like everything multiple of... Is that negative 12 amps? No. No, it's just your eye. It looks yep. like myself and ducks. That's zero point. Ah. Yep. Let's try another problem. This is a bigger problem. So here's the circuit. Plus to minus 60 volts. Maybe you want to make it a little bit big so you can write stuff on the inside of it. So don't try to make it too small. I don't know if we'll need to write stuff in it. Eight ohms. That symbol ohm means we measure the resistor in ohms. Ten ohms. Four ohms. Two ohms. And this is Vx. The val Let's see if we know anything. Determine Vx in the circuit. They go, this current I sub x. I must know something else besides what's given to us. The only thing I know, the only thing was given to us in this problem that this current here is 5 amps. That's the only thing given to us. That's all we know. So let's put together everything that we learned so far. Can we solve for that voltage? Now, what about this uh, voltage here? Let's call it V1. Does anyone know what V1 is? Or can we find V1? Yes. How? We have the resistance. Yep, Ohm's law, right? Mm -hmm. So V1 equals, do we know what the current? 5 amps. Do we know what the resistor is? 8. eight. So that'll be what? 40. 40 volts. So now I know there's a voltage here. The green ones are the stuff we're calculating. There's a voltage there of 40 volts. Can we find this voltage right here? We'll call it V2. How did you get 20 volts? 
Yep, Kirchhoff voltage law. So let's call this uh, loop one. So in loop one, this is number one. Let's say I travel, we know the current's going this way. Let's say I travel this way. If I travel that way, KVL, let's use KVL, Kirchhoff voltage law. Sum of the voltage in a closed loop is zero. Let's enter this, that's a minus. <coughs> minus 60, bless you. I'm entering this voltage where, bless you. Bless you. Plus 40. I'm entering this at the plus, plus V2 is equal to zero. What's V2 equal to? 20 volts. I'm not sure, I just make an assumption. Oh. And I'm not sure, this, uh, this current here will not be the same current coming down, it's gonna split here. But I'm saying, I'm gonna, I'm gonna travel, that's a path. Let me travel in path in this direction. What I see is 60 volt, negative 60, plus 40, plus tw uh, V2. But that current's gonna come to this junction, I can, I can guarantee you it's gonna split both ways. How do you know it would split? What if for some reason it just took it to the right and then it took the current coming up? It will never just go in one direction. Just like again, you have water coming in, then you take one of those junction of water where the water split, and they're both open. If they're both open, the water's gonna come, some will go that way and some will go this way. There's no reason for the water not to go through that hose if it's open, just go through that one. So it's gonna split both ways. And actually be more current through this, I mean through that one than this one. Why? Resistance is resist. It will take the least resistive path. This is four, that's 10. So it's gonna take more in that direction than this direction. So we know now this voltage to be 20. Let me mark it in green. That's plus to minus 20. If I know that voltage is 20, can I find this current? Let's call that I sub 1. Can I find that? Yes. How? Um, v equals IR. V equals IR, okay. I equals v V2, the voltage 2 equals I sub 1 times R, R is 10. Mm -hmm. Do we know what V2 is? 20. Yep. Do we know what I sub 1? Nope, I'm looking for it times the 10. What's I sub 1 equal to? 2, two amps. So I know that's 2 amps. Do we know what the current here is? How do you know 3 amps? Uh, the KCL? Yeah. KCL. KCL says the current N the current out. What's coming in? 5. What's leaving? 2. That means that one has to be what? 3. The current's going to split. 2 will come down this way. 3 will go that way. like a puzzle. Do we know what the voltage here now? Let's call that V4. You could just do I times R. Yep. Is that V2, V3, what is it, V3? Uh, v, yeah, V3. Do we know what V3, yep. V3, the voltage at node three equals the current through it, which is what? Three times the voltage, which is four. And what do we have, 12 volts? So this is plus to minus 12. <coughs> it's plus to minus um, because, okay, I see. Let's call this V4. Let's travel this way again. 
KVL. Some of the, there's a closed loop, you see it? You can travel this way. If you start from here traveling, you can end up back there. Sum of the voltage in a closed loop is zero. Let's begin with this. Remember, I wrote the number here. This is what? What's the voltage here? Negative 20. See it? Minus to plus 20. Negative 20. Here, can you see that number? What's that number? 12. Plus 12 plus V4 is equal to zero. What's V4? Eight volts. So this is eight volts. And if we do another equation inside this, sum of the voltage in a closed loop here is zero. By the way, if you want to find I sub X, we can find it because now we know what the current here is. What's this current here? We know the voltage, eight volts. We know the resistor, which is two. What's eight divided by two? Is that four amps? So I got three amps going in. I got four amps are leaving. That means what? Something must be coming in this direction of how big? One amp. one amp. One plus three is four. That's what the four is. So this current is one amp. And again, can I do KVL in this node? And there's a closed loop right here. Sum of the voltage in a closed loop is zero. Let me begin with this. Minus two plus, that's negative eight, so that's loop three. KVL. Minus eight. Plus VX equals to zero. VX equals eight volts. So notice by knowing just one thing. One thing we managed to get everything about this problem. Everything.